Well, it may come as a surprise there's a homeless population here in Collier County, but for many people, that's a reality. A new law in effect, Governor Ron DeSantis says he does not want to see South Florida look like yet another San Francisco or New York City with people facing homelessness living on the streets. I'm Collier County's community correspondent, Dominga Murray, and it's rooms like these where families can come let their children play, seek comfort, and stay out of the heat. Well, you would never think, you know, 10 years ago, if someone told me I'd be homeless, I'd say you're crazy. Arnold Matsum says he's been lucky to find shelter at St. Matthew's house. Well, I was living in Naples, had a good job, but housing was very expensive. So I decided to move to Fort Myers thinking that'd be cheaper. My car broke, my truck broke down. And then uh, I stay in hotels and stuff, burned through all my money. And next thing you know, I was living in my truck that was broke down. and. I ended up homeless. It's something many people are facing with rising house costs and now another hurricane. We have wait list every day here. Steve Bruder is the CEO for the shelter. He says House Bill 1365 taking effect now will greatly affect people here. It basically prohibits people from sleeping in public. He says there are 150 beds in Naples and 33 beds in Immokalee are full most nights. We had a 69% increase, 24 over 23 for unsheltered individuals. And 165 women living in their cars that they know of. There are people living in the woods. In April, I asked Governor Ron DeSantis the intention behind the bill, and he says it's to keep everyone safe. They should be in a shelter. They should be someplace that is outside of where the public is impacted by this. The bill notes it's the county's responsibility to point homeless individuals in the direction of shelter and housing services. If they're full, the law says the county can designate a space it owns to help house people. But in the meantime, how do the counties keep people from sleeping in public? How will that enforcement take shape? We don't know yet. I reached out to the Collier County Sheriff's Office. A spokesperson says, quote, we will enforce the law as detailed in the statute as we always do. It could happen to anyone. You, you know, it's easy for them to say, oh, that can never be me, but it very well could be. Reporting in Collier County, Dominga Murray, Fox 4.